Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video on how to remove and refit a visor and sun visor on Kberg's Tormax helmet. Kberg's Tormax, really popular flip front adventure helmet. There aren't so many flip front helmets with a peak. This is one of them, so let's show you how to remove and refit the visor. It starts with chin bar down, visor up, and we need a screwdriver. Here's one I prepared earlier and just undo this screw on the side of the helmet until that comes free and the peak the same. Take the screw out. This collar, for some reason, is also loose. So we'll set that to one side. Spin the helmet, repeat on this side. Undo this screw, pull that away, hold of that collar. So we're gonna need that in a bit, and that's the peak out of the way. Now, these screws, as well as holding on the peak, they hold on the chin bar. So I would suggest just loosely putting that in there to keep the chin bar located. There's a really tiny risk of the chin bar coming out, but I'd rather avoid it. And I just put these screws in there, just a couple of turns on the fingers, just to keep them located. So now we can get on with the visor. So with it lifted, you'll see there are two arrows. There's one on the visor, just there, and then there's one on the plate that it mounts to under here. We need to turn the visor, rotate the visor until those are aligned just there. Now we're going to pull this switch here towards the back of the helmet. I'm going to pull the visor forward to dislocate it at the front. Then I'm going to push it back to dislocate the hook at the back. So push that one, pull it forward until it's dislocated, push it back and away it comes. Really easy. Do the same on the other side. So line up the two arrows. There we go. Pull this switch, pull it forward to dislocate that one, push it back and away it comes. In terms of putting it back on, just going to locate that tab back into there and push forward again with those arrows aligned push it forward and then i'm going to pull this lever and shuffle until this front tab locates under there release and that's done same on the other side so get the two arrows aligned just like that i'm going to push this tab pull this in until it houses clicks in place and that's done so now it's just a case of putting the peak back on. So we will lift the visor, unscrew that that I've just left in there for now. Now all we need to do is just reattach the peak. So to do that, there's a little angle on the peak just here that sits underneath that tab there. That's the first part. And then this edge locates against that tab there. So put that into place there. Sit that into there. We can now see the threaded hole through there. So we get the collar. There are two little studs on the underside of that collar that go into the two recesses on the peak. Sit that in place, get our screw, put that back into there. Thread that home and tighten up. Easier with a coin than a screwdriver. Who has coins these days? So same on this side, this little angle is going under here, this edge going against there. So remove that screw that's just been kept in there for locating it, pop that home there, pop that against there, pop that home, you can see that threaded section through there, put that in, screw that one home, check our visor's working properly still, which it absolutely is. Now, bearing in mind that, as I said, these screws attach the chin bar and hold that in place. It's worth making sure these are tight, not just finger tight like you would on some visor attachments. Get a good amount of tension on those. Now we just want to check, as well as the visor functioning, just check that the chin bar's operating normally, which it is. Okay, so let's move on to the sun visor in case that's the bit that you need to change. So we'll do that with the chin bar lifted. Some visors down. There's a tab at the top of the visor that attaches to a mechanism that runs through the helmet, so we need to unhook that. That's what this plastic picks for. So just pull it down, pick into here, push that tab up, and that comes free. Now it's just a case of pulling the two sides out. That just means pulling them free of their housings from here, and now the sun visor's out. Putting it back, just the reverse. So feed this between the EPS and the shell, 
feel for where it sits in its housing and just push it home until it clicks like that. Same on this side, put that there, push, there's the click. Now it's actually easier to reattach this than it is to detach it. So just get hold of the switch that operates the mechanism and push it forward and that stops the visor trying to push the mechanism back inside the helmet. This tab sits on top of the little carrier that you'll be able to see just behind the rim there. Put that on top, push, there's the click, that's home. So if we use that a couple of times, we'll see that that's working as it should. Now, don't be concerned when you see there's a little bit of sun visor protruding from underneath the rim. That's absolutely as it is on several k helmets, including the Tormax. So we'll just check everything's working properly. Chin bar, push the button, that closes fine. Visor, the same. Check the same with the sun visor. And that is how you remove and replace the main visor, the sun visor, and the peak on a Kberg Tormax. Thanks for watching.